It's still an audio time. Week 16 of the NFL season is here. J-Mo is back, winner of last week. Congratulations, kids. You got yourself $100 to Chipotle. That's going to be a fun time rizzing up your lady there. She's going to be super impressed when you roll up. Be like, it's all paid for, baby. (laughs) You met her. You at, you, did you actually? Did you see her? There was chemistry. There was some heat between them. Mm, yeah, you're going to be dropping the guac on her next time. She had a mask on? Yeah, Jim was like, that was her. Jim was not about looks, all right? He's about discreet. personality. He's not into her because of her face. It's about because she, transactions. Right, it's because she gives him a discount. Uh, before we get this week started, let's kick it to the Bankerson with a Week 15 recap. As you can see... The winning streak continues for J-Mo. That is five straight dubs. He's dominating Nick. And the reason I'm covering up Nick's side of the board right now is because it's it's not pretty. It is really bad for Nick this week. Maybe the worst week in Dealer No Deal history. 0.3 points. Chris Olave didn't play, so he did only have one player. But still, to get 0.3 points, J-Mo 33.4 absolutely obliterated him. And if you look at how each of them did, you wouldn't think it's gonna be that big of a blowout. You know, Nick did pretty well in his wide receiver round. J-Mo, very consistent throughout both the running back and receiver round. Nick's running back round, not great, but I would have thought this would at least be kind of a close match. The offers were pretty good. You know, it's, it's a little difficult, especially the running back round, to find those guys in that like eight point range. I always find everybody's either seven or lower or like 10 or above. There's that two point range in the middle, eight and nine, where there's like one, maybe two guys. Was there anything Nick could have done to win? No. Even if he got Amari Cooper and AJ Dillon, still wouldn't have been enough points to beat J-Mo this week. J-Mo was sharp not to take any of the running backs he was offered. If he did take Jordan Addison in the first round of the wide receiver round, he would have absolutely obliterated Nick even more. Overall, just tough for Chris Olave not to play for Nick. That really hurt him, especially considering his other wide receivers did really well. That's this week's recap. Is Nick ever going to win again? I don't know. We'll see. Check out this episode. All right, as we proceed to week 16... Before we find a wide receiver, the reward for this week is $100 to a new pair of shoes. After week one of the playoffs, some of y'all have been kicked out of your leagues, so we're getting new kicks for the boys mm. this week. Just handing out money. I'm just excited. handing out money. So, you have a favorite, like, shoe place? It's Foot Locker, just the, the goat shoe place? Uh, I don't know if I have a favorite shoe place, no. No? Where'd, you get, that- the, where'd you get those clean ones? Famous footwear. <laughs> Famous foot. All right, you know we'll, we'll figure out the place later. I don't. I don't know what kids do. You buy shoes online? No. Whatever. Hundred dollars towards a new pair of shoes is the reward for this week. You, my good friend, need to pick a jersey that is going to be your jersey. Some new kicks. I'll go number four. Dude, number Stephon Diggs is a gold. Like what you mean? What you mean? He's been dick. Yeah. Now he's playing the dick Chargers. <sighs> he's about to dick down L. A. <sighs> See. They're going to have Justin Herbert with a broken finger out there guarding him. All right, all right. If you don't like him, get someone else then. But you went with I number four, your home jersey. All right. Three jerseys are not yours this week, though. What will it be? My guy. Take out the whole bottom row. Going to slice out the bottom row. I'm going to go reverse order, starting with jersey number three, DK Metcalf. Okay. Decent ball player, decent ball player. Jersey number two. Stephon mm. Diggs. Mm. Mm. You didn't want him anyway, so now he's gone. Mm. He's dead. Get over it. I might have Marvin Mims. Jersey number one, Jacoby Myers. Mm. Okay, kind of a strong bottom row. Yeah, there's some juice down there. Well, in my eyes, the gold is still on the board, so. Enlighten me. Who is your gold? A.J. Brown. A.J.B.? Yeah, I mean. Against Not N.Y.G.? Diggs as the gold piece is just crazy. I don't think it's that crazy. The Bills are back. Stephon Dill. Diggs Josh Allen had like 100 yards, maybe. I said he's back. Okay. And Bankerson is back with an offer. What do we got? Hmm. I'm going to offer you Demarcus Robinson. 7.0 projection well, taken on the New Orleans Saints. You want to talk about guys who are back? Demarcus Robinson. He's been popping up. popping up. Yeah, he's he's the new tutu. Yeah, I'm good. No thanks. You're okay? Don't no want to think about it a little more? No deal. We move on. Two more jerseys. Let's get him out of here. Let's go six and seven. Six and seven. You took out the bottom. Now you're going straight for the heart. Show me jersey number six. Mm. Marvin Mims. Mm-hmm. Huge pull. Okay. Demarcus Robinson doesn't stand a chance I now. I need to check out what famous footwear has got. Okay. Jersey number seven. Mm-hmm. Debo Samuel. Mm-hmm. Mm, not great. 
Not great. Still got the gold piece. You don't have the gold piece, but you do have A.J. Brown. You don't have Debo, but you don't have Marvin Mims. A little bit of a give and take Debo here. against the Ravens? I don't want it. Dude, this is turning out great. Yeah, dude scores too many touchdowns. I wouldn't want him either. Bankerson, what do we got? I'm going to offer you Deontay Johnson. 8.6 projection taken on the Cincinnati Bengals. Mr. No Tutties has scored in three straight games. Mr. Trubisky, is he back? But I don't a lot of guys are back. No deal. All right, no deal. Deontay Johnson not going to cut it, so we got to cut two more jerseys. Let's go eight, and then we'll take a breather. All right, show me. Jersey number eight, Jordan Addison. Okay, okay, let's take a little oh, bit okay. of a, let's take a second, let's take a half, half time real quick. Oh, motherfucker. Let's go, let's just go five. Five, a not so confident jersey number five. DJ Moore. Mm. This is bad. This is so bad. We're not trending in the right direction here. I need to pick the right one. It's so bad up there. Yeah, you do. But before you do that, we have an offer from the Bankerson. I'm going to offer you Noah Brown. 6.9 projection. Take it on the Cleveland Browns. Okay. It doesn't feel like Bankerson wants to help you out here. Brown but on Brown action. That, yeah. We, we, you, here's my, my thought pattern. Here. Oh, okay. We, we both, both know... We both know that your jersey is a shit one. Yes. So, it's a 50-50 as if, if you get A.J. Brown or one of those two guys up top. And I want to see you go for that 50-50. Damn. I'm going to. He's not off. He's not lending out a helping hand here. He's calling your bluff. Hey, here. listen listen to this, though. C.J. Stroud could be back. Tank Dell is out. Nico Collins could be out. Noah Brown could be a strong player this week. Way stronger. No the deal. Bottom two. Okay, it's a no deal. Ah, damn. I tried. I tried, Bankerson. All I was hoping right. for peace, but we chose war. One more jersey. Ten. Get it out of here. Show me. Jersey number ten. Bang! Wandell Robinstein. All right, motherfuckers. Lock in. Oh, oh my God. God. Did you stack the whole fucking bottom? <sighs> What's the offer? You don't know. All right, Banker. This is an awkward phone call we got to make because you doubted a kid. Didn't go well. Tyler true, Boyd is such a good floor. Like, what if Jamar's really hurt? Is he actually, like, hurt? I don't, hurt? I don't know. But what if? I basically have the gold and bronze left. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to offer you DK Metcalf. 10.6 projection. Take it on the Tennessee Titans. Okay. DK. That's a good offer. I want some big shoes. Tennessee. Kind of a bad passing off. Passing defense. I know. I want that gold piece. No deal. All right. It's a no deal. DK Metcalf not going to cut it. Very good option. Nick, what do the analytics say here? You got to sit down, kid. We no, no one wants to see the dick shot. Analytics have to switch, right? Did he stack the whole fucking bottom? I think the analytics say to switch. All right. You're choosing to switch. Jersey four is there, but you're not sticking with your guns. You're going with jersey oh, number nine. Good. Oh, all right, just go. Nine. Show me jersey number nine. Bang! It's AJ Brown. Let's go. That's the gold piece. It's not the gold piece, but he's pretty good. Hopefully, <laughs> go. as we record this on Monday night, he doesn't get right. hurt. <laughs> right. Ho- <laughs> hopefully, he does not tear nothing. Yeah. Little, little bit of a, little bit of a risk here, but you know, the Bankerson, he, AJ Brown, Mike. I'll be, I'm, I'm going to that game, so that's like extra good. Oh, there you go. Yeah? Is that one in Philly or in New York? Philly. It's in Philly? Okay. Yeah. And a little something to root for. Mm-hmm. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes, yes. AJ. All right. That was Deal or No Deal. Jameson's wide receiver round for week 15. We will be back to find a wide receiver, not for Nick, but for a special guest. Stay tuned. And we are back. Second wide receiver round of week 16. You, sir, are not Nick. No. I am Nick, actually. Actually, you are Nick. I always, <laughs> always forget about that. Well, now that was the biggest surprise, that your your government name does happen to be Nick. But, gut, you were replacing the other Nick um, because last week he so horrendously put up .3, I believe, fantasy points that he is now it's being electric. kicked off the show. Now that we switched to rewards, <laughs> can't do it. Can't have a game like that. Bankerson absolutely bankrupted him. So, you're going to play this week. Trying to get a new pair of shoes. Let's mm-hmm. see your shoes. Let's see those dusters. Yeah, they're, they're pretty mm. rough. Yeah. I, I was looking for new ones at the mall yesterday. Actually. You're going to need a big round here. So, yeah. one jersey is going to be your jersey for today. Pick them out. I'll go with my gut and go number two. 
All right, jersey number two is going to be yours. We're going to put that aside. However, three jerseys we have to get rid of because they are not yours. Yeah, let's swipe out that little corner, eight, four, and three. Eight, four, and three going with the southeast corner, starting with jersey number three, oh, Stephon Diggs. That's rough. That's <laughs> tough. That is a, that is a, that's a tough first reveal yeah. in your deal or no deal career. But what about number four? Can four be better? Show me number four. That's also DJ rough. Moore. <laughs> also, not what you want to see. But Jersey 8, I can feel hope. Show me Jersey number 8. Right, Marvin Mims. Love Mims, to see that. Huge love pull. to see that. You do not have the gold piece, but you do not have the dog shit piece. I don't know if that's a dub. Only one person knows, and that's the Bankerson who is calling now to give you an offer. Already, the one good thing about having a gut here instead of j or Nick is that for the first time, Jersey number 2 has been picked. Or jersey that isn't one, four, or ten has been picked. Right, it's pretty gas. Yeah, electric. You know, it's just it's just nice to get a little diversity a little in the jersey picks. I'm gonna offer you Jackson Smith and Jigba. Eight point five projection. Take it on the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee, bad defense, mm-hmm. as you know so well. Yep, too well, almost. You know, and I love JSN, and he knows that. I feel like there is just too much value on the board, so I'm going to say no deal. All right. It's a no deal. I like it. You have DK Metcalf. Yeah. Who's higher in the pecking order. Mm-hmm. Jordan Addison's also your boy. I love Jordan Addison. All right. So, so let's good. not rip those two guys off. Yeah. But you do need two more jerseys to exit this game. Okay. Uh, give me just the top two, nine and ten. All right. Let's go up top. Jersey number nine. Fuck. DK Metcalf. <laughs> Speaking about damn. the Seahawks. That's sick. There he goes. If this is Jordan Addison, this is going to be nuts. Show me. Jersey number ten. Debo Samuel. All right, yeah. That, that, At that point, you kind of wish it was yeah, Jordan Addison. Yeah, that one, uh, that's sticky, for sure. All right, Debo and DK off the board. That was a strong top row. Yeah. Good players up there. <sighs> right, we also you. have this offer from the Bankerson. Banker, let's not take advantage of the new guy, shall we? Yeah, dial in. It's not a great round. But let's, let's not be mean to him, all right? All right, maybe I'll pull on the heartstrings a little bit. I'm going to offer you Adam Thielen. <laughs> 7.9 oh. projection. Take it on the Green Bay Packers. Adam Thielen? No. Dude was eaten uh, earlier I, this I, year. I don't even. I've, I've watched him play the past like five weeks. No thanks. Is that because of Bryce Young? It's not Bryce Young. It's just Adam. He dropped a touchdown this week. I can't forgive him. Let's keep it moving. So you think he's due to grab a touchdown? No, I think he's due to keep being blunt. I want you to say Bryce Young's good into the microphone. Bryce Young is a good quarterback. He leads the NFL in. Uh, What's it? Game-winning drives. Or he's tied. No deal! I got all I needed from that sound yep. bite. That's going to that's gonna go on the wrong side of a highlight reel. <laughs> Two more jerseys. Let's get them out of here. Um, give me seven. Show me. Jersey number seven. Jacoby Myers. Okay. Could okay. Be worse. Could be worse. And then we'll go with five. Show me. Jersey number five. Wondell okay. Robinson. Good round. That's a big round. That's, a huge that's round. what we needed to see here. That's the type of comeback that we need. No Jacoby, no Juan Dale, but we do have another offer from the Bankerson. I will say your round is looking very uh, Nick-like, the other Nick-like. I'm going to offer you DeAndre Hopkins. 9.6 projection, take it on the Seattle Seahawks. Going against Reek. It's a good offer, but I'll have to say no deal. You're going to say no deal. All right, no deal. We move on, DeAndre Hopkins. Ain't his man. One of these jersey jerseys also ain't your man. So who's it gonna be? Number one. Show me. Jersey number one. Fuck. Jordan Addison. Damn. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Real pickle <right> here. Yeah. <laughs> exact same two as JMO. <laughs> you either got the top or the bottom. <laughs> There's just yeah. okay. So same situation that uh Jameson just found himself in. <sighs> Is it gonna work out <laughs> as well for you, Bankerson? You know what will not get accepted if this was JMO. You can try it again. True. You can go higher. You can go lower. You're the bank. I don't make the rules here. What See, I'm gonna I'm an impartial bank, so I'm gonna offer you the exact same thing I offered JMO. DK Metcalf, 10.6 projection, taken on the Tennessee Titans. Okay. So earlier we were talking about how much you like JSN. Mm-hmm. DK mm-hmm. now back on the board as a possibility. It's a good safety net. Yeah. Um. You know, fuck it, I'll take it. Deal. You want deal? Deal. All right, let's shake hands. Let's make a deal. DK Metcalf is going to get it done. He'll, will, he will be your wide receiver for week 16. However, 
Let's throw jersey number two back up on the board and see what could have been or what could not have been. If you were in the situation where you passed up on DK Metcalf and had to stick with two or switch to six, where would you have gone? I think I would have stuck with two. You would have stuck with jersey number two, which was... Tyler Boyd. That's massive. That's huge. That's massive. Way to get that out of that massive. situation there. Yeah. All right. That's huge. Huge. So you came out you came out really well considering uh, how rough of a start that was. Yeah. You're a natural kid. You took a deal, uh-huh. which isn't something that people like to do, especially the first time on the show. We will have you back at the end to find yourself a running back for week 16 of Deal or No Deal. Hey. And we're back. Jamo is back on the couch to find himself another player for week 16 of Deal or No Deal. As you can see, this is normally the running back round. However, because it's the Christmas season and I feel like I'm in a little bit of a giving spirit, mm. we have a special gold piece, Mr. Josh Allen. Christian McCaffrey, normally the auto gold piece. Um, we're moving him down to silver. So a lot of good options. A lot of good options on the board. If you strike out here, this is going to be brutal. One case, one jersey. That is going to be your jersey. Four. Four worked last round. I'll go with it again. Going back to the well with jersey number four. All right. Here's where damage gets done. Three jerseys. Take them out. Yeah, going. I like it. You're Take them out. It's a little superstitious. It's a strategy that worked last bit. time. Going with the bottom row. Let's go jersey number three. Rashad White. Mm, good player. Good player. Jersey number two. Mm. Joe Mixon. Okay. Dude, Cordy P. Ugh. Cordy P's back. What Ugh. do you mean? He's so back. Jersey number one. Dante Foreman. Okay. 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 One of the shittier pieces gone. That's big. Love to see that. All right. I feel like this happened last time. You wiped out the bottom row. It was kind of strong, but then you bounced mm-hmm. back. So maybe mm-hmm. this is exactly what mm-hmm. you need. Maybe exactly what you need is this offer from the Bankerson. Those two high pieces are really bringing up your average. <laughs> yeah, they are. So I'm going to offer you Jerome Ford. 10.1 <laughs> projection. No, Make it on the no. Houston okay, before before we started recording, Jamo was like, what would you say? You're just, like, Jerome Ford is 100% yeah, going to get off of this game. He's offered every fucking show and he sucks. No. What did he get last week? Do we know? Not no. enough to take him in any deal. All right. Maybe I'll stop offering Jerome Ford, but you stop picking jersey number four. Damn. What, what does that affect no you? you? I don't know. That doesn't affect the bank. If anything, that should... Hey, you don't know how the bank works. Maybe yeah. maybe he does like number four, and you, want, you, you just don't know, all right? What you do know is you have Jerome Ford, which you're not going to take. It's a no deal. Two more jerseys going to the top row. Mm. No, middle. <laughs> oh, the seven. heart. I remember six how we did this yeah, last yeah. time. We went straight for the heart. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how this combo works this time. Player, show me. Jersey number six. Ooh. <laughs> Still got that gold. Still got the gold. It's like, you know, you ripped off the million dollar case, yeah. which hurts, but this is a special round. There's like a $2 million mm, case exactly. out there. Exactly. All right. So let's see. Jersey number seven, Javante mm-hmm. Williams. Okay. Okay. Josh Allen's still alive. That's, I think that's the important part here. Very. You got to get rid of the, some anchors. There are some anchors, but there's also an anchor up top. That big 20 piece of Josh Allen. Bankerson. How do we feel about those anchors? I feel pretty good about them. I'm going to offer you Tajay Spears, 7.4 projection, taken on the Seattle Seahawks. Dude, Spears. Derrick Henry Watched. probably had his worst game of the year. We, we've been talking about how a lot worst of players game are of back. His life. Worst game of his life, for sure. Derrick Henry ain't one of those guys who's back. He's gone. But no deal. So is that offer. It's a no deal. All right, two more jerseys. Got to get them dead like Derrick Henry. You want the outsides? Mm-hmm. The Five wing pieces? Show me. Jersey number five, Boston Hang. Scott. Hang. Huge. Oh, my God. Stay I will humble. say, though, Boston Scott, like, always scores a touchdown against the Giants. Not that I want to bet on it, yeah, but, like, nah. happens every time. And jersey number eight. Fuck. Ooh. Fuck, 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 fuck. That hurts. That is a burner. Josh Allen, the $2 million case. Not good. No, 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 no. We are it's looking a little slim. Look, yeah. James Cook is still great. Los Angeles Chargers, terrible defense, as we've already established. Uh, Bankerson, let's get an established offer, shall we? Let's get someone who's a little established. What? Get someone who's a little established. He's a little, been a little established in the league. You know, he's had some pretty high praise, some high comparisons. I'm going to offer you... Antonio Gibson, 7.2 projection, taken on the New York Jets. Okay. 
okay, maybe Brian Robinson out another game. We don't really know this early in the week. I don't think I could. No, Gibson's not. You're not feeling in your Gibson. Oh, fuck. No, I can't. All right. No deal. We move on to one more jersey that has to be removed. Is it nine or is it ten? What did you do last time? Ten. You did ten last time? Keep it. Okay, same strategy. Show me. Jersey number ten. Cordy P. Let's, Let's go. go. That's huge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come All on. Right. All right. You got yourself a nice, a decent safety net. Let's put it that way. Kenneth Walker might die tonight. He he's, could. He's still got to play on Monday Night Football. Zach Charbonnet still has to play today, too. He could be dead. He could <laughs> end true. up with him. But it works both ways, buddy. Let's go. All right, Bankerson. What are the financials looking like now? I'm going to offer you Devin Singletary. 10.6 projection taken on the Cleveland Browns. Pierce is officially done. Pierce Just like Derrick Henry. Officially, officially coming back. Oh, he's officially coming back. <laughs> so no deal. All right. No deal. That's that's not the direction I thought we were going in. I, I thought that was supposed to be a positive for Devin Singletary. Doesn't matter. We're going to throw jersey number four, your lover, back up on the board. And now it's a big decision time. Are you going to stick with four or switch it? With number nine. Just stick with four or stick with the system. Stick with four, the system. Find a f- I found a formula last game. Mm. Found a pattern. Found a pattern. Found you got a an process. algorithm. You the think system you got, says. You, think you got it. It's a switch. Out. All right. We'll see. Show me. Jersey number nine. Bang. There we go. Let's go. James Cook. Huge round. Beautiful. Yeah, that, that was starting to look a little scary. Look a little mm-hmm. thin towards the end there. I basically got the silver piece. Because Allen, McCaffrey, and I'm taking Cook over White. You're doing a lot of justifying here. You, you have, assumed you I had the gold the last time. silver and gold. You know what? Fuck you. You have the gold. Why not? Mm-hmm. All right. James Cook and A.J. Brown is your duo for a very strong a, week 16. That's good. Oh, man. You're going to be strutting around the some city shoes, in some I new know. shoes, don't you? Some heels, you? some boots. We don't know. Could be anything. Moccasins, Crocs. I might get cleats for the combine. Dude, cleats Holy would be shit. pretty sick. All right. Wasn't thinking about that. But we will enter our last round of Deal or No Deal for Week 16. Gut will be back on the couch to find himself a running back. And we are back. Last round of Deal or No Deal for Week 16. Gutter Steen is here to find himself maybe a running back, possibly a quarterback. Josh Allen, the gold piece this week. I would love to steal Josh Allen from JMO. Oh, that'd be awesome. All right. Well, we start with one jersey that is going to be your jersey. Six. All right. Going for the middle piece. The sixth spot will be yours for today. Now, as always, three jerseys are not going to be yours. Mm-hmm. So let's rat them out. Get rid of four, one, ten. Four, one, and ten. Show me. Jersey number four. Javante Williams. My boy. What? That, that, is, bad that is a your boy type of guy. Yeah. Is a, that is a guy. My guy. All right. No Javante Williams. Also, no jersey. Number one. Oh, fucking God damn it. That there hurts. goes Josh Allen. All yeah, right. That, That's a tough one. That's going to really bring down the averages. Mm-hmm. The dime piece. Show me. Jersey number 10. Joe Mixon. All right. Kind of a tough round, if I do say so myself. Yeah, as long as CMC's on the board, I'm, I'm fine. CMC very much still on the board. And this offer from the Bankerson is also very much up on the board. I'm going to offer you... Actually, I want to pivot that offer. I'm backing out of that offer. <laughs> he so is about to say Ooh. Jerome Ford. I'm going to offer you Ty Chandler. 6.0 projection taken on the Detroit Lions. Ty Chandler? No shot. What do you mean? He's going against the, what, second best run defense? Oh, defense? come on. Don't, don't give the Lions that much respect. They're they, not that good. They, they are that good. What are we looking at? Analytics, Damn, statistics, God. analytics, statistics, numbers. Yeah, that, that is a low super projection low. for Ty Chandler. I thought it was still, he should be way higher than Alexander that. Madison, still dead? No, he's still mid. I agree. I agree. And listen, I like Ty Chandler in all accounts. Not taking a deal with CMC on the board. All right, as long as CMC is still there, we're going to say it's a no deal. Two more jerseys. Let's get him out of here. Nine and five. Working nine to five, starting with nine. Zach Charbonnet, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. And. You could die tonight. That's good. Jersey number five, Rashad Fuck. White. That yeah. Hurts. That yeah, hurts. that's not great. Rashad White's been cooking. Still got James Cook, still got CMC, still got a lot of dog shit at the bottom. <laughs> there is a lot of dog shit still lurking at the bottom. Bankerson, I can see him lurking. 
What are you thinking, banker? Get that look off your face. No. no I'm going to offer you Zach Charbonnet. 6.4 projection taken on the Tennessee Titans. All right, so he just ripped off Charbonnet, but he's like, how about now? now? So I'm like, no thanks. And I also don't want to double up on Seahawks. You don't want the Seahawks stack against I, I, Tennessee? No, I really can prefer that. No. All right, fair enough. It's a no deal. Two more jerseys that need to be gone. Two and three. All right, show me. Jersey number two. Boston Scott. Massive. Huge. <laughs> Massive. Huge. I, I will say, I, I said this last round, but we need to put some respect on Boston Scott yeah. against the Giants. He's scoring a touchdown. Oh, he guaranteed. But we don't want him. And what we don't want is jersey number three. Show me. Number three. Donta Foreman. Massive. Okay. Massive. We, you know, that's just math. Yeah. You, you started ripping off the good pieces. What you had to do next is rip off the dog shit. All right. Cordy P's still lurking, though. Cordy P. Cordy P's. Yeesh. <laughs> yeah. Don't like how he looks. Hopefully, we like the looks of this offer from the Bankerson. Huge round, Banker. Huge round. Huge round, indeed. I'm going to offer you Devon H. 11.9 projection, taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Ooh. That's another That's one of your boys, offer. isn't it? Yeah. And, I mean, it's fucking Devon H. And it's H. Ann. It's tough. They're playing the Cowboys? They're playing the Cowboys okay. on, okay. um, is that just a... It's not like a primetime game, is it? I don't think so. I don't know. Not a primetime okay. game. Okay. Not that it really okay. matters. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Lock in. Devon All A. Right. Chain. Not on primetime. Not that it really matters, but against the Cowboys. Let's see. Let's see. How, yeah. Let's see. Uh, how do you feel about A. Chain versus James Cook? Yeah, that's where it's like the matchup is so much James Cook after coming off a huge game where A. Chain's playing Dallas, who's going to be hungry after a bad loss. But it's like he can rip a 70 yarder at any point in time. He can. Which makes it tough. But I think I'm going to go with my gut and say no deal. The kid's going to risk it for the biscuit. It's a no deal. Wow. All right. One more jersey. This one is going to be huge. This is going to determine yeah. your deal or no deal debut. I feel it. Rip off number seven. Where's Cordy P? He says it's under number seven. Show me. Jersey number seven. Cordy P. That's massive. He's out of here. All right. Now we're talking. Now we're rolling up now to the bank with boots. some bags. Now you're shaking in your boots. It is now between James Cook and Christian McCaffrey. James Cook as a floor is huge. Huge. Yeah. huge. All right, Bankerson. Give me some spice and everything Bankerson. nice. Yeah. And make... Oh, you just... Exactly. <laughs> Facts. I'm hyped. What he said. <laughs> We're about to get paid. We're like Brock Purdy on a rookie some contract. Spice. Mm. Some spice and everything nice, baby. I can give you some spice. All right, it's gonna be some Tony's putting quarterbacks on the board. I'm going to offer you Tua Tagovailoa. 15.4 projection taken on the Dallas Cowboys. He even hit that pronunciation. What's the, what's his projection? 15.4. 15.4. Damn. QB? QB. Tyree Kill is right coming back. Is Tyree Kill back? <laughs> is Tyree Kill coming back? Nick's screaming behind the glass. Yeah, injury report from Nick, Oh, from right, Mickey banker. Leaks. Yeah, we, we do allow contestants to act for ask for injury reports from the bankers. And we cannot confirm how accurate they are, but you are allowed to read. To, to, to All right, give me, give me the injury report. I mean, report there's not going to be anything on Tyreek Hill yet because it's only Monday. You have to you have to give him a report. Those are the rules. <laughs> you have to give uh, me something. I don't, I don't care if you I don't care if you have to go to Dolphins practice, Bankerson. <laughs> Let me call my agent real quick. Hold on. All right. I got some news. Yeah, you got news? It's not good, it's not good for Tyreek Hill. He's out for the season. Oh, and that's exactly why I'm going to take the deal. Two He's going to take the deal. <laughs> First time in deal or no deal history, we have quarterbacks on the board, and a quarterback was dealed up. So you end up with Tua Tangavaloa okay. as your, I guess your running back, running technically. Back. Yeah. Paired up with DK Metcalf, taking on JMO's duo of James Cook and A.J. Brown. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, this gonna be this, this gonna be is heater. gonna be a sweater. Yeah. This is this is gonna be a this is gonna be a hot one. Who will end up with new pairs of shoes? We don't know. Only one way to find out. Watch the games this week, week sixteen. That's all we got. Stay tuned for next round of Deal or No Deal. He I never revealed what jersey his was. Yeah. All right, fine. You know what? I would say you did. Doesn't matter, does it, guys? You end up with Tua. Fine, but we'll put People jersey. Want to know. Okay, okay, fine. We'll put jersey number six back up on the board. This is so out of order now. All right, you, would you have kept six or swapped with eight? Um, I would have swapped with eight. All right. After such a good round with six, 
you're choosing to stab it in the back and go with number eight. Damn. 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 Could have had Christian McCaffrey. See, this is why I try to end the episode. I yeah. try to leave it on a high note. Yeah. But listen, I, I still, I mean, I'm taking a quarterback, you know. It's That's like, true. Fair enough. It's fair. Christian McCaffrey might score more than a quarterback. Know, but it's kind of wild. Ah, uh, whatever. We live. You live. You're in this. No regrets. No, no absolutely regrets. not. The only regret was playing this one out, but it's okay. Once again, week 16 of Dealor No Deal.